Well, good morning, Parker. Well, good morning to you too, Matt. You know, if I was on a game show, the host asked me for $1 million, what in God's name was wrong with my roommate? I'd have to ask an audience member or take 50-50, man. Because I've never seen you like this before. Does it work? Did you lose your voice? Did you lose your voice? Is your family? Is it school? Don't tell me someone died. Did someone die? All right, this is your target. I'm gonna go into the next room with my glass of breakfast while you can sit here and sulk over nothing by yourself. I loved her. I loved her. I took what was the most protected thoughts and emotions and I gave them to her. I spent three years building an idea of what my future was going to be like, only to have it unknowingly fade away. Go on. It just drives me fucking crazy, man. Like right now, why am I even talking about her? I don't want to talk about her, yet here I am wasting my breath and energy on a person that has quite literally kicked me to the curb. I just want to turn her off inside here. I want to walk inside my brain and say, look, I don't know who's in charge here, but all this shit has got to stop. Well, why don't you? It's not that easy, Tyler. If I had a switch in my head, I would have flicked it weeks ago. I'm not some Buddhist monk who lives in fucking Tibet or whatever that has spent his entire life learning to seek inner peace. I'm human, and I'm not perfect, which drives me crazy. Give it time, man. You see, I hate that. I hate the whole concept of time healing all wounds. Sure, it probably works, and I should be more grateful for it than I am, but hell, man, it's a ludicrous concept if I ever heard one in terms of love and a broken heart. Why? My entire life, dude, I was able to just power my way through all the crap that was going on. Parents get a divorce, no problem. Lose a job, it's gonna be okay. School kicking my ass, not even a fucking issue. And the only reason I was able to power my way through all that crap is because I could look at the situation as it was, and as it would be. I could look down the road and see that it was only a matter of time before things got better. In and of knowing that, I was able to start feeling good almost right away. Like I could bypass the whole time thing and just get down to what was real and now. My logic usually overrode the piss poor emotions, and I could start taking the right steps to solving the problem. And you can't do that now because... Shit, man. I don't know. Because I love this girl? Because I don't have a choice? Because somewhere in this labyrinth of tissue and thought there's a pathetic, gleaming hope we might get back together? Isn't she with someone else already? Yes, she is. And that doesn't help at all? How could it possibly help? It helps you get over her. I see where you're coming from. That still chucks up the whole situation in time. I still have to walk down the same road that every poor sap who's ever been dropped like a hot rock needs to walk on, which is, as I originally stated, ridiculously stupid. It's just a bunch of fucking biology. Like right now in my head, it's a bunch of synapses firing off negative pulses like, bam, she left you. Bam, she's probably humping the other dude's brains out. Bam, you're a big fuck up, okay? So all these synapses are firing off their negative shit, and after a while, my brain's gonna start to get sick of it. So all these synapses and their pulses are firing off, and after a while my brain's gonna be like, uh, hey, yeah, 
I get it. And start to build up a callus. Soon after that, the synapse's job becomes obsolete and stop firing altogether. Then and only then will time have done anything. Sounds like a good deal to me. Thank you. Why does it bother you so much? Because there is nothing I can do to make it go faster. There is nothing I can cognitively think about or logically try to deduce that will make the synapse stop firing. Like right now, I go out pussy hunting and get some tail and feel pretty alright for a while. But in the end, that's just masking the synapses. And all that negative shit is just gonna crop up later. Going out and getting pissed drunk is the same concept. Sure, I'll forget about things for a couple of days, but nothing ever actually goes away. So you're left just waiting? Yes. And I hate it, man. I really, really hate it. She punched you in the face. Wow, that's pretty badass. You should have seen my face the day after. The bruise was like this big. Well, you deserved it. Didn't I ever teach you how to treat a woman? Sam, all you taught me growing up was how to eat bugs and dirt. Well, I'm gonna throw some bucks in here if you don't own up to your stupidity. All right, but I wasn't trying to act like a jerk. I just think it's pointless for me to continue dating someone I don't foreseeably have a future with. Wait, wasn't this just the first date? You can tell by the first date. All the girls I meet and see, they don't seem to have the same mindset as I do. Like you're on a different page? Like I'm on an entirely different chapter. And when that happens, it's a red flag that tells me not to waste my time. Two do not need to think alike to love alike. That's very true, Francis David. And I agree. <laughs> but that whole mentality seems like when we fall in love, we're settling for someone and ultimately trying to change them trying to fix the things that don't work, all because we supposedly love them, it's such a crock. So you're saying that you're never going to date anyone unless they're completely perfect? No. It sounds like you have some unreasonable expectations to me. No. I'm sort of apathetic right now. Like, after Megan, I had to go on all these dates for some reason. Whether or not it was to fill some psychological or emotional void, it doesn't matter. I just felt like I needed it. Now, though, it's been deprioritized, straight to the bottom of the totem pole. And it's not that I don't want that love that I had before. I, I very much do. It's just that I'm not going to actively pursue it. It can wait. I guess what it comes down to is, uh, are you happy? Yeah. I'm as happy as I can be. So I walk down the street, go to the store, see what they've got this week. It's the same old thing. I see nothing's changed. It's a sad, sad song you're singing, but the same, same old thing you're bringing. They want something new, and I see nothing's changed. Oh, the smiles they have come and gone, but the frowns have been there all along, and I have nowhere to give. I see nothing's changed What goes around should come around And we'll just keep spinning this town Till we all get ours So far nothing's changed This stack of straws grows every day Our roll is a rock so it's not in our way Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer and Somehow nothing's changed If I could get out of bed and I could open the door I might find myself back at a store with Ellie